Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make Linux Mint look like Windows XP. So yeah, let's start. At first let us open opendesktop.org and here we can search for desktop themes. I'm searching here in the top for Windows XP. Let us just search for that and in category let us switch to GTK 3 slash 4 themes. I tried some themes out and the best which fits for me is the XP professional theme. I will put you the link in the video description. So I hit here download and download the zip file. Perfect. The zip file is now downloaded. Now we need a icon theme. So I head over to our search Windows XP and let us now choose in the category full icon themes. And I am going with the XP icons. I open that one up and click to download and download here also a 3.1 zip file. Now we also need a wallpaper. So I just search for wallpaper Windows XP and yeah, let us select one image you like and click on right click on the search and click to save image as and here I name it Windows XP. Now we need a Windows startup icon. So I just search for Windows XP icon. And here we see a Windows XP icon. I will take that one. I click right click and I select save image as Win XP logo. So for now we can close our web browser and let us open our downloads folder here. And here we have the different images. So let us open up our downloads folder here. Here I have my different files and yeah, let us sort the different files. At first I open up my pictures folder and here I create a new folder called XP stuff and I move here the both images in. Perfect. After that we have two Windows XP 3.1 files, but yeah, that is okay in our case. I click extract here. I select here the first Windows XP file we downloaded and select extract here. After that we look into it and it seems like the GTK themes. Where do we have to install them? I open up on the right side here my home folder, press Ctrl H or select right click show hidden files and here we see some folders. If you don't see them just create them. I select dot themes here and here we have to paste all themes into it. Just paste it in here. Perfect. After that we can delete our Windows XP 3.1 folder here and extract the second one. Here we have our Windows XP file and this looks like a icon theme. So I head over to the right side, head over to my personal folder and here I see my icons folder. I open that one up. If this folder doesn't exist, just create it and I move the whole folder in here. So when we open the folder in the icons folder, we have the index.theme file. So that seems now good and we can close our file manager and open up our themes tool here. And here in the icons, we now find our Windows XP 3.1 file. And tada! we now have old Windows XP vibes right now. Perfect. <laughs> but now let us go further on. I take applications here and here we have different Windows XP themes. 
I guess Windows XP Luna is the one everyone knows, but instead Homestead or Sion, yeah, seems also nice. But yeah, I guess the most of you will take Luna. After that, we have to pick a desktop theme and I just trying the Windows XP Luna one and that seems very, very nice. Perfect. Now I can close my themes application here and now we need to edit the menu here. It doesn't look like a Windows XP menu. So I right click this one and head on to configure. Here in configure, I typing in a text, so that is called start, perfect. And now we need another icon. I click on the icon and I click browse. And here I select pictures, XP stuff and select my Windows XP logo and click select, perfect. Now we have our Windows XP logo in here. Maybe let us insert a white space before the start. So this one looks nice. So, okay, now we can close every window we opened so far. And yeah, now we have to change our wallpaper. I right click our desktop and select change desktop background. And here I select plus, select pictures, select our XP stuff and select open. And here in the folder XP stuff, I select the Windows XP JPEG. And here we have it now a full Windows XP style for our Cinnamon desktop. Looks great, doesn't it? If you also want the functionality like Windows XP before, head over to the welcome screen, open up first steps and here select as panel layout traditional. That only rechanges our start icon here. So yeah, I reselect here, right click configure on our start menu and let us type it in here, start and you know the game, pictures, XP stuff. We select our Windows XP dot ICO select. Maybe let us remove these icons here because they weren't there in Windows XP. Select right click, select preferences and select remove panel launchers. And I select yes and also select the show desktop icon, remove show desktop and I select yes. So in the end, maybe let us change the height from Windows XP a bit select right click, select panel settings and maybe select as panel height 32. I guess that's a good height. But yeah, that is only one version how I would change my whole desktop to Windows XP look. You can go further on by downloading some Windows XP sounds. Head over to the sound settings here, select in sounds and here in sounds you could also change all sounds. Um, yeah, when you have these activated, I recommend you to deactivate them if you don't want the startup sounds. And perfect. If you don't want to configure the Windows XP sounds, but I guess the Linux Mint sounds are disturbing the Windows XP look. So yeah, <laughs> I just put, so yeah, I just turned every sound off. But that's up to you. And I hope I could show you how to change your complete desktop layout within minutes by your own and make it your own desktop on Linux because yeah, we all have the freedom to do this and make it look like how your desktop should look like in your mind. So thanks for watching. If you want to see what things to do after installing Linux Mint, I put you the video in the end card Please like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time. Bye.